Yes guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Mad Cars. Today, what I'll be doing is actually washing three cars. So, to give you some context, I washed my mum's car, my girlfriend's car and my car and applied different types of protect protection on them. So, on my car, my ST, my Focus ST, I put um, a hard wax. I'll show you which one that was in a sec. I've forgotten the name, but I know which one it is. It's a Bill Hamble one. Um, so I put a hard wax on it. On my girlfriend's car, I put tough coat sealant. So put that on it. But I only put it on a few, on a few panels because basically the spray trigger broke and I didn't have any spare, spare bottles to empty out into. And so I only did like two panels, but we'll just use the two panels as an idea of how good the product works. And then on my mum's car, I use auto finesse radiance um like liquid wax to see which one offers the like how how they differentiate between each other because i knew i wasn't going to be able to wash the car the cars for a few at least a few weeks i'm showing you the results because i thought that this way would be better than just showing you a video of how to put on wax like there's a million and one videos on that on youtube already so let's get to it So I use the roof as an example, because as you can see, the water's pretty much sheeted off. Um, it's still, it's beading pretty well. Um, there's not a lot of stagnant water, but obviously because it is, the roof isn't as sloped as any other panel, I'm gonna try it on this front quarter panel here, to see what it looks like. beading off is it sheeting off i mean sorry yeah it is pretty well it's harder to pick it up on camera because of the color but it is working straight on the bonnet see running straight off yeah it's doing an all right job i think but i'm not i just say here you go you can see it's sheeting right off let's see i'm not the most educated when it comes to all these waxes and stuff but it looks all right to me right so now i'm on my, my girlfriend's civic but as you can see look the bottom part of the car where it's definitely not where all the protections run out look the water's still there up here it's not too bad but down here you can clearly see that there's no protection whatsoever so like i said on this car i only managed to do the roof this panel here and the bonnet so i'm going to have to only show you those panels that are actually to see if they're working to be fair which is a good comparison because that's what i did on focus so let's see how it goes so I'll start off with the roof so there's bits over there and here, as you can see, look, it is moving a little bit. But obviously, with the, just like the focus, the roof isn't really the best place to actually have a look at because it is quite flat. So if we try this panel here. I see it had a bit of bird too. See? Exactly, exact, this is what we want to see really. The water is just literally sheeting off and basically leaving it dry and it's sheeting off very quickly. So clearly this is this is pretty good as well. So this is doing well. Let's try to bun it now. Doing the same thing. So really and truly so far. I haven't really noticed the difference between wax and sealant. Like, same thing to be fair. Doing 
to be fair on the wax one on the hard wax so far on the paste wax the beading was a lot more individual it sheeted off a lot more and it wasn't it didn't bead as small as this the water is not as much water is coming off but it's not staying stagnant which is still good so here you see there's a lot of stagnant water like here some parts of it sheeted off like here but if you look on the bonnet just there's just a lot of stagnant water i don't really know why that is to be fair i was pretty confident that this that there wouldn't be that much of a difference in between both of them here it looks like it's done all right or maybe it just doesn't last as long as the, no i'm sure it lasts at least three months but I, I don't have the bottle with me but i'll go and have a look but yeah hasn't really done its job or oh, it has and it's worn off so maybe it's that so anyway i shall continue with what i'm doing so i'll continue now i'm just going to snow film the car <laughs> So the snow foam I've used is um, Angel Wax Auto Foam or Fast Foam or something like that. Um, it sticks pretty well actually, I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't bring out a lot of suds, but it clings. Like, it really clings. And obviously because today isn't a sunny day, it's warm, it's, about, it's still about 25 degrees, but it's quite cloudy. So I can leave it to dwell for a bit longer to see how much more it can do because last time it was quite clingy it did dry a little bit and i had to apply another layer and then take it off now that some film has been applied just taking some dirt off it's the, the but that it's like here all the, everything's come off all the like even here there's a lot of stagnant water now it's not sheeting off as much maybe once i wash it it will change but it this seal sealant seemed to behave differently. Or did I only do half? I can't remember. But I know I couldn't do much because the thing broke. But the roof, see, is that okay? Oh. We'll see, we'll see. Let me give it a contact clean now, contact wash, like with a sponge and that, and see how things change. So I just wanted to show you guys how clean the car is already with just a snow film. Look at the mitt. Literally, well not literally, but barely any dirt. Like once I rinse it off as well. Nothing. See? Bikes is really doing its job. Snow foam, the snow foam basically took away all of the soap, all the dirt, sorry. So making the, the job much easier I've done the contact clean so as you see the water is still basically look that's just going literally yeah it was literally going nowhere so what I think so far is that the hard wax on my focus is basically the best way forward this seam, the sealant on here seemed to work when I put water on it and then after I washed it, it had all gone for some reason and this hasn't really worked at all so that's the conclusion that I've come to from this so far but I'm gonna finish, get this dry and obviously dress it, dress the tires and all that kind of stuff as well but before that I'm going to use this Ultimate Quick Wax from Aguirre so I'm just gonna use that just I'm just going to use this just to add, just to boost the protection that's already there basically and to add a bit more of a deeper shine. Right, so, let me get a bit closer. Right, so, what I'm going to do now, rather than, I know I need some form of protection in this car because cleaning this car is long, like it gets dirty, uh, she does, she basically goes on like the A13 every day to go to work, like, so, like, 
it does get pretty dirty. Um, so I'm going to use this Carpro Hydro to on the focus. Hydro 2 light. I've used Auto Finesse Aqua Coat before. Um, I like this product as well. It does the same job, adds a bit of protection. Slightly, I've, oh, I'm about to fall. Slightly, I feel that Auto Finesse Aqua Coat is a little bit better, but this is what I have now, so this is what I'm going to use. So I can show how it works a bit better. Let me wet the bonnet again. Yeah? You can see a lot of stagnant water. Now, if I get this, I'm not going to spray it on the whole thing, I'm going to spray it half the panel. Don't really even have to let it like, you know, doing it well. Literally, you can already see that this part part where it didn't get sprayed is already hasn't worked. But here, you can see it's already sheeting off. So, spray. There you go. Excellent hydrophobic qualities, I believe, is what the packaging says. And yeah basically sheeting off so sheeting off and beading so it will give it that protection it says it's up to three months so should do me for at least a few more for like at least the next month clearly what one was pace wax out and out completely decimated the, com the competition so the part I would suggest pace wax um, I did kind of think that the pace wax the paste wax would actually win anyway um, but I didn't think it would be by that much. Um, I also feel that with the liquid wax and the sealant, maybe I needed to do more to get them to work better. So I'm going to try it again. I'll probably film another video of it. Um, if I do then, cool. But if I don't, then I'll just tell you later on. Um, so yeah, Pace Wax was the best part. Pace Wax was the best way to protect your car and also what really got me excited about the pace was also the amount of gloss and shine that it gave to focus and um, it was a carnivore wax so carnivore waxes because they're a natural wax um, it's like well carnivore is a carnivore carnivore whatever it's called is a natural product so it really makes like bright colors and that like colors are like oranges reds yellows they and greens they make the color look much deeper because it's a natural product and it suits these kind of color cars better but yeah guys um so if you enjoyed the video give it a like um if you think i could have done something better comment and if you like the video in general or like the content that you've seen so far subscribe i think you like the content that i'll have coming out offense guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one